In this video, I'm going to teach you how to play split screen Minecraft Java Edition. It's a very easy process, so make sure to follow along. In this video, I'm going to be talking about how to set up split screen for the Java Edition of Minecraft. So you will be able to play with another friend sharing the same screen on PC on Java Edition. For this method, you will need at least one controller. So you can have player one with a keyboard and mouse and player two needs to be on a controller. Or you can have two controllers, whatever you prefer. So for this method, you need to download the ModRamp app. This is going to make it significantly easier to acquire all of the mods needed to get this to work. By default, Minecraft Java Edition does not have split screen support. So this is why we need to use mods. Once you download the ModRamp app from their official website, at modramp.com slash app you can open it up sign in with your account and then choose the plus sign at the left clicking the plus sign will give you the option to create an instance this is going to be the instance for player one you can name it whatever you wish like p1 player one first person whatever and you need to install it in fabric so make sure that you choose the fabric loader the game version shouldn't matter so choose whichever one you prefer the more recent the better and the new instance will be created now in the player one instant instance choose the option to install content so you'll see it at the left you choose it here and then install content first i recommend installing sodium this isn't strictly necessary but because you are going to be running two instances of minecraft it is going to significantly improve performance after you get sodium look for controllify this is needed to set up the controller that you will be using for split screen and finally off me so once you install all of these you will be able to get them to work together so, right click the instance where you installed all of those mods and duplicate it. By duplicating the instance, essentially you will be setting it up for player 2 as well. So, now that you are done setting the instance for player 1, duplicate it, and when you click either of them, you should see all of these mods. So, make sure that all of them are enabled. Another thing to note is that if you aren't going to be using a controller for player 1, so let's say you play on keyboard and mouse, make sure that you you disable the controllify mod so if you are going to be playing on keyboard and mouse either for player one or player two disable controllify otherwise you can leave it enabled once this is done you can click play on both instances so do it for player one's instance and then player two both of them on the full launch and you can set one to the left and another one to the right the very first thing to do if you notice that your keyboard and mouse doesn't work is to go into the options controls and then controller settings now make sure that this option is ticked as soon as you change this option related to your controller that is connected, you will be able to use the keyboard and mouse. So enable this and now keyboard and mouse is going to resume working for a specific instance of Minecraft. Now you can go into single player on either of those instances. I recommend doing it on player one. You will see this icon at the top left choose this and then input any username. You need to play offline in order to run two instances of Minecraft, so name it whatever you wish. Now, on this first instance where you chose the option to play offline, you can set up a LAN world and once it is hosted, the other person just has to go over to multiplayer and you will find the option to join. I hope I was able to help you on how to play split screen Minecraft Java Edition. If this video helped you, please be sure to leave a like and subscribe for more very easy tips. Thank you for watching.